Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited to be back with this haul. This is, I believe it's the prime time restock from Super Tarts, which has grown to be one of my favorite um, companies. You guys know that already. So without any, um, too much talking, which I always tend to do, let's get started with this video. There's some amazing, amazing scents um, and, and blends. Just as I said before, uh, Super Tart and Vintage Chic are my favorite because I love creativity. I love how they always come up with these awesome um, collection restocks, which just, you know, drives me crazy. I have to buy them. I have to order from them every time. And Brandy is just like Herbie to me. She mixes some of the things that I would be like, there's no way, there's no way in hell pardon my language here, that I would like that scent. And then I buy it and I fall in love with it. So it was really cute. It came with a little fresh popcorn bag. It's hard to show here, right? And in here there were candy, which I already ate it all, which is so bad of me. You know, I didn't share it with Bella at all. Um, let me not talk loud because she'll know. I got a sample. I got... Her card, which is adorable, it says Brandy Williams, which is the owner, Super Tart Scented Wax, and her website, which is www.supertarts.bigcartel.com. And that is the coolest, cutest um, business card. And if you see here on the side, this is the artist, age five. That is her son. So that is so adorable. I'm going to put that here because I want you guys to be able to see it throughout the video. Hopefully, you'll stand up. Let me try. So I think this is so cute. I love that she's a mom and she lets her kids get involved, you know, with the creativity of her products. So me being a mom, I can, I can appreciate that even more. As always, which I love, the only time I don't see this is when I order her samplers. But she also includes the scent description, which makes it super easy for us YouTubers to make videos. Especially if they're lazy like me and they don't want to have to go search it. Aside from the candy, she did send also some gourmet popcorn, which I will have that today with Bella. After this m video, we're going to sit and watch movies and have super tart popcorn. So I got a sample, and I don't think we have a scent description for the sample here. And I love it already. If this is going to be part of the next restock, I'm going to buy it. The Lost Boys. It probably was part of this restock and my dumb butt didn't see it. But um, I'm hoping it's part of the next one. Maybe like a Halloween because if you see the label it looks kind of like Halloween-ish. Um, it's a little gingerbread man. Hold on a minute you guys. Hold on one second. Hey babe. Hey. Let me call you right back, okay? Love you, bye. Everyone always calls me in the middle of a video. So, this, it's this adorable gingerbread man. He is orange. That's not focusing very well. It's everything else behind it. He's orange, and he's got some sparkles on it. Um, oh, my goodness. What is in here? Something absolutely delicious. I smell pumpkin and marshmallow. Definitely a sweet, creamy pumpkin. I don't smell any type of spices at all. But there's a hint of something perfumey in here. So I have no idea. I do know for sure there's pumpkin and marshmallow. But this smells awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And if this is in the next restock, I will for sure purchase. So I bought a lot of the scent shots. The, the scents that I wasn't 100% sure I was going to love, I bought it in scent, scent shots. And the ones that I knew I would love, I got in clamshells. Um, turns out that I love the majority of them. But as I've said before, I have been trying to kind of cut down on the spending. And the scent shots are quite a lot cheaper than buying the clamshells. So if I continue to place orders, um, you guys will start seeing them probably be more scent shots, even though that is my least favorite type of wax. I just really, we're trying really hard to... Um, we rent, you know, a house, and we're trying really hard to get out of renting, especially in Florida, 
because the homes are dirt cheap right now, you know, because of everything that's been going on. So we've got we've got the deposit down. We got 20%, and we just got to make sure our credit stays where it needs to be. So we got to start, you know, I'm 31. We got to start thinking of the future <laughs> and stop blowing our money. But that's easier said than done. So let's get going. Brandy, you outdid yourself with these labels this time. They are absolutely adorable. I just love it. The whole, you know, movies and action thing scenes. It's just, it almost looks like also like a carnival, but it's because it's the movies. So this one is Scandal. And Scandal is Chanel number no. five, which I absolutely love that. I do have that perfume. I like Chanel a lot. Chanel number no. five in rose petals, frosted with vanilla bean Noel. You guys know that I like everything with rose petals. Love vanilla bean Noel. And then you add Chanel number no. five. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. You've got rose petals in there, dried rose petals. It's a beautiful dark red with um, glitter, as you can see. And I 100% smell the, the Chanel Number no. 5 perfume. It's not overpowering, though. It's such a beautiful scent. Oh, my God, I wish I had a clam shell of this. Brandy, please offer this in your next restock as well. I am in love with this. Mm, it's, it's the Chanel Number no. 5. I get roses, but it's not an overpowering, you know, like, choke you rose scent. Let me say how we always say it, grandma smelling scent, even though I love my grandma. <laughs> um... Love it. The Vanilla Bean Noel just gives it this extra creaminess. This is a five for me. And so far, five out of five, okay? So far, this smells amazing. Very strong. Bella, hold on, baby. The next one is this beautiful blue color. And this is Shield. And Shield is Pina Colada Passion Fruit. Wait, Pina Colada Passion Fruit Nectarine and Rainbow Sherbet. Okay, this sounds like fabulous. Just a nice deep blue with some stars and glitter. And then this one, well, these are all very strong, you guys. This one, mm, I get a lot of that passion fruit nectarine at first. Very strong on the passion fruit nectarine. I get the rainbow sherbet, which just gives it this nice creamy citrusy scent. The pina colada is the lighter note on this, but it smells fantastic. All right, next one is Blossom. That's from a show, of course. And look at how pretty. This is a different uh, label. It says Old School Super Tart Scented Wax. And Blossom is Lavender, Chamomile, Cotton Candy, and Rock Candy. What? What? Oh, this is good. This also has some beautiful dried rose petals. I love that. I love it, love it. With a nice creamy white color. It's just absolutely beautiful. And you guys could probably smell me sniffling here. Mmm. That cotton candy and the rock candy is definitely here. It makes it sweet. The lavender is that herbal lavender that I like. It's not the sweet lavender. And the chamomile. This is beautiful. This is going to be a beautiful nighttime scent. I love it. So far, I love everything, you guys. Okay, let me move these forward. Make it this easier on me. Next one is Grey's Anatomy. I used to watch this show religiously in the beginning. Then I kind of got tired of it. I, I it usually happens to me a lot with shows. And the ones I don't get tired of, like Dracula, it gets canceled. <laughs> I'm really into which is the East End right now, and of course all the teeny boppers, Vampire Diaries, and and the other one, the originals. But they're all on break right now, so my life is so boring. Okay, what was this again? <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. Um, this is Starbucks coffee, vanilla ice cream, and creamy pecan pie. So this looks awesome, by the way. It's beautiful i don't know what that's supposed to mean um obviously something probably to do with the show i'm just not smart enough to get this right now beautiful teal color with that deep red so i love it 
Um, the coffee is not that extremely strong coffee that I can't stand. It's nice and creamy, almost like a latte scent. I'm sure that vanilla ice cream and the creamy pecan pie is what it's doing that, but it's a nice, nice scent. And I think I can actually stand this one. I think, um, I think Angie would love this though. All right, next one is Orange is the New Black. I started watching the first episode of this, and then there was, like, boobies everywhere, and my husband came in, and he was like, oh. And I am, like, a jealous freak, so I turned it off, and I'll probably watch it when he's not around. Um, it was already hard enough watching True Blood with him, okay? Mm-hmm. He is a dude, after all. So, Orange is the New Black. True Blood was the only show he watched, and he didn't complain that he was watching, like, Little Kids Show with me. He, he loved it. <laughs> I wonder why. All right, back to this. I always go way off topic. Hopefully that's why you guys love me. The heck is orange is a new black? Uh, orange juice, burnt marshmallow, and pomegranate. All of that sounds great. So look at that. It's black wax with some orange slices in it. So cool. Mmm, that orange juice is a, a fresh juice scent. It's not a bakery scent at all. Mmm. God, I love everything so far. Burnt marshmallow. It's a creamy marshmallow, but it's got like an extra kick to it. It's hard to explain. The pomegranate is not very strong. I smell marshmallow and oranges. Almost like just a creamy orange scent. I like it. This one is, not, is let's say, my least favorite of all of them, but I still like it. Next is Boy Meets World. I used to watch this show religiously when I was a little kid. I didn't watch... God dang it, I got butter hands. I did not watch the new one yet on um, the spinoff. I think it's out. I have to look for that. So Boy Meets World, this fruit punch, sugar cookie, and buttercream. I wasn't going to order this because I'm not a fan of anything fruit punch. Actually, out of the last restock from Brandy, the one that's with fruit punch is the one that I still have not melted out of everything. So, I don't smell a lot of fruit punch on this. I took it out so you guys can see. This is so pretty. It's two-tone. You got black wax in the bottom. Actually, three tones. White and the lavender color. Look at how pretty that is. Good job, Brandy. You make scent shots doable for me because they're pretty. Okay. This one, I don't have, like, a scent that's, like, sticks out the most. Everything blends very well. The fruit punch is not noticeable, thank God. I smell more sugar cookies and buttercream than anything. So, I might like this after all. Yay. All right. I was, like, stressing out a little because I'm running out of my super tarts. I don't have any more of the scent shots from my first orders. And I've been digging through my clamshells from the cheese ball collection. Cheese ball. Cheese balls. All right. Next pile is Fresh Prince. I love that show. West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spend most of my days. Okay, let's not go there, right? It's orange slices, coconut cream, and gardenia. Ooh. I'm going to take this one out too so you guys can see. This is a beautiful orange. Beautiful orange with a teal. And like that lavender color and sprinkles. This is so good. The gardenia, it's perfect gardenia scent. It's nice, strong. There's a creaminess to this. Ooh. The orange slice is very light. It's more coconut cream and gardenia. I love this scent. Ah, oh, thank you, Brandy. Thank you for continuing to put out gardenia scents out there. A lot of people don't. And it's my favorite flower ever. And I can melt that all year round. It reminds me of springtime. Full House, another one of my favorite show. One of my bucket list things is to go to San Francisco so I can go stand in front of the Full House house. I can't wait. I wonder if the people who own that house are sick of people stopping in front of them and taking a picture. All right, so cookie jar, sweet cream, cotton candy, and marshmallow. Two tones as well. It's what? A maybe it's hard to see sometimes. It's a dark, dark teal with like a raspberry color. And this one, 
it's very good. It's very sweet. I mean, come on, it's cookie jar, sweet cream, cotton candy, and marshmallow. This smells just like a mix of everything sweet and great, and I like it. And on cold right now, all of these scents are very strong, so I don't think I will be not even a little bit disappointed. All right. Vampire Diaries. Yay. One of my favorite shows. I'm like obsessed with Damon. He's the hottest man alive. Ian, I think his name is what? Summerholder or, or I, Summerholt. I don't know. He is so freaking hot. Those eyes. Now who's with me and who thinks that he should have been casted for Fifty Shades of Grey? I mean, when I thought of Mr. Gray, I thought of somebody that was tall, dark, and handsome with piercing eyes. And Damon is it for me. And that man just, like, oozes sexiness. But anyways, um, forgot Vampire Diaries. Wow. Vampire Diaries is white and black wax. And there's, like, blood, blood uh, droplets or drops so sexy i wish vampires were real all right so this one is strawberry raspberry blackberry and sweet cake bites um i smell the raspberry very strong the strawberries here and the blackberry and the sweet cake bites just gives it this nice sweetness i really like this this is a nice fruity scent but could be could definitely be used like as a soothing scent too Mmm, that's so good. I'm gonna be thinking of Damon when I melt this. Yes. Okay, next, Castle. Never, never started watching that show. There's too many shows out there for me to keep up with all of them, you guys. So, Castle is two tones, that same raspberry with a gray wax, and some sparkles, red and gray sparkles, I believe. By the way, my video quality when I'm not filming, like in front, is going to get better soon because I should be getting my iPhone 6, has autofocus, so hopefully it's already shipped, but I think they have it like scheduled to be delivered no earlier than the 19th because that's when it becomes available for everybody. So I already have the tracking numbers been picked up from the store, but it still says that it would arrive on the 19th and I don't think it would take that long to ship, so I'm thinking they have it like scheduled to be delivered on that date, so... Castle is pomegranate, red berry currant, and fresh mint leaf. I get pomegranate. I get that red berry a lot. I really don't get the fresh mint leaf at all. And that's disappointing because, you know, that would be probably my favorite note in here. Well, let me smell the bottom. Okay, I take that back. I do smell a, um, a little bit of the mint at the bottom. But I wish that was the strongest note. But nevertheless, this scent is still beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, fabulous. Okay. Next, we've got Friends. My favorite show of all time. It's still my favorite. I have all of the seasons. So no one told you that life would be this way. I love this show. Life's a joke. You're broke. You love life. The okay. Yeah, me again getting out of, um, I don't even know. Pretty green color with a canary yellow, and there is a heart. You see that? That is a heart, um, not in bed, it's like a stamped in there. So, Friends, not only is the best show ever, but it smells like strawberry margarita with sugar-coated raspberries. Let me smell this. Mmm. This is fabulous. That strawberry margarita is extremely strong in the bottom. It smells just like a margarita scent with strawberry in there. Really, really good. And the sugar, um, I don't get much raspberries. I get strawberry margarita with sugar, like sugar on the rim if you were having a margarita. So, love this. Let's get going. Taking forever. You love a joke, you love like the eye. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. Okay. So this one is Genosha or Genosha. This is one of the scents she's had for a while. It's the classic scents. This is a sweet mix of pineapple, creamsicle, creamsicle, and raw candy. It's definitely a 
trick. I don't know. This is all just yellow. And this just smells like a very creamy pineapple scent. Nice, sweet, creamy pineapple. Not gonna go much into that because we've all heard about this before. The next one is New Girl. New Girl's got these beautiful dried flowers on it. It's a teal color with sparkles and dried flowers. It's just absolutely beautiful. Ooh, this smells so good. I wish I had two of this. Oh my God, what's in here? What the heck is the scent description? Come on. Mm. Violet. That's what this smells like. It smells a little like um, vintage chic violet or violetta. I don't. I never know how to say that. That's why I liked it. I knew it smells. Okay, it's violet, sweet lolly, and cupcakes. It smells really good. It reminds me a lot. It's not the same scent because um, vintage chic has. I think it's waffle cone. This smells really good, you guys. Who would have thought that I like violet? It's so good. I don't even know how to explain. It's just a beautiful scent. It's great, great, sweet, beautiful scent. CSI, white and gray with crumbs. This smells awesome. This is mango, marshmallow, and cotton candy frost. And it's a blend from Ashley Cottoner. So, good job, girl. This smells fabulous. This mango is a great great smelling mango the marshmallow is great i really like the scent Ooh, this is clamshell worthy belly yeah just a little bit okay baby mommy's almost done I'm i know you are sons of anarchy um mm, what's in here all right so all gray with some black pieces uh, this is also a show, of course, I don't know anything about it. It's blue sugar, pink sugar, and hard candy. So, this is a good scent. This is a, a good man scent. scent. Um, you have that blue sugar, which is that nice, like, it's the, the boy scent to the pink sugar, you know. It's nice and manly. It's a little powdery for anybody who doesn't appreciate powder scents. Um... But that uh, pink sugar makes it so good, and so does the hard candy. It's like a boyish but girly scent. It's so hard to explain. I really like this one. Uh, what I love about um, Super Tarts, it's you don't have a cure time with them, so you can melt them now. Now, another show that was my absolute favorite, and every Sunday feels so lonely without the show, Dexter. Baby. This is a teal color with... Um, also, some spots of blood there. Oh, I miss Dexter. All right, so Dexter has what? Fresh picked strawberries, sweet pineapple, and tangerine slices. It's just a great scent. I get the strawberry, which just gives it this extra sweetness. The pineapple's here. The tangerine is a nice citrusy tangerine. This is just a nice fruity drink blend almost. So I love that. All right, did I get everything from that one? Yeah. Now, pardon me one moment. All right, so the last three scent shots, step by step. Ooh, baby. So step by step is a beautiful raspberry and green color. Mm. This one if I can find, it's honeydew, melon, blonde moment, and sweet berries. It smells like every other scent that's like that. You know, the, the melon scent with the blonde moment, which the blonde moment always overpower, and the sweet berry. This smells really good. It's not my favorite because it smells like every other scent like that has these same blends, but it smells really great. Okay. Big Brother. Never watched that show. Those are the colors. Ooh, that smells good. This is 
Even with the scent description, you know, it takes me a while. Sweet berries, cotton candy frosting, vanilla bean oil, champagne, and love spell. It smells great. I don't like love spell by itself, but when it's mixed, I always love it. Because it just gives this extra, I don't know, this extra oomph to the scent, you know. So, I get the berries, I get the cotton candy, the vanilla bean oil, the champagne. Just makes it smell like a blonde moment. And the love spell. This smells really good. I am um, excited about this one. Lesson shot I have is How I Met Your Mother. That is a funny as heck show. So beautiful color. What is in here? Hmm. This smells good. Watermelon, of course. Sweet white wine and pomegranate. I get the watermelon. Oh. The pomegranate. It's not very strong, but I do get the white wine. I like this scent a lot. This could be a fresh, fresh, sweet scent. Now, my super tart videos are always so long. I apologize. I think the last one was like close to 40 minutes. Crazy. So, I fortunately... No, I can stay there. Okay, I'm going to have to let this... No, nope, there we go. So, from the clamshells, I got Go to Sleep. And Go to Sleep is one of the classic scents. This is pink sugar blend with our sweet lavender cream. So, I love this one. Um, it is a sweet lavender, which I usually don't go for sweet lavenders, but this one is so relaxing. You know, it must be that pink sugar. I like things blended with pink sugar for bedtime. It just, for some reason, it's, it's relaxing to me, even though it's a sweet scent. It's weird. So, I really love this one. This will definitely be melted in my bedroom. I tend to melt a lot of super tarts in my bedroom. Um, next one is eucalyptus and spearmint. Hello. And this is just fresh eucalyptus with sweet vanilla and fresh spearmint. I love anything with spearmint. I wish um, vendors would use more scents like this. Also things like patchouli. I love everything that's good to relax. We already live such hectic, busy lives that I just love scents that when I put it on, it makes me feel like I just walked into a spa, you know? This is great. The eucalyptus is a beautiful eucalyptus. It's not that like extremely green one, like the actual eucalyptus leaf. It's just a nice eucalyptus pyramid with vanilla. It reminds me of the Bath and Body Works one and I love it. Oh, thank you, Brandy. Down to the last two. Um, the first one is A Modern Family, which that show is hilarious, by the way. And Modern Family is Cucumber Mint, Apple Slices, and Lemon Wedges. Yes, that's totally for me. Oh, wow. Okay. The cucumber is the fresh cucumber, just like I like it. Apple slice, it's a fresh apple. It's not like a bakery type of apple scent. And the lemon wedges, like this is beautiful. I love it. And look at how pretty that tart is. Love it, love it. Last one. Thank you for all of those who stayed with me throughout this whole thing. And this one is Storm, which is actually known as Storm Blizzard, combining our ocean rain and peppermint blend. Oh, wow. So it's all gray. The first time I smelled this. Oh, I love this. Ooh, it's like on top as one of my favorites from this whole order. I, I get that ocean rain scent. Like I get that soothing water scent. You know, it's just beautiful. Relaxing and the peppermint, it's not too strong like icy peppermint. It's, oh my God, this is... Beautiful, beautiful. So thank you so much, Brandy, for all of your hard work. I'm excited about the new order that I have out already with you, which was from your latest opening. I can't wait to see what new creations you come out with. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for all of you guys that watch me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comment, and I can't wait to see everyone else's video about this order. I love you guys. Bye.